Hey guys, Genesis Moss here with my review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classics Bebop action figure from Playmates Toys. Now we have waited a year to finally get some new characters in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classics line. Was he worth the wait? Keep watching and find out. Bebop comes packaged on the now standard TMNTC blister card. On the back of the package, we have some art that looks like it came from the Archie comic series, as well as a blurb about the characters Bebop and Rocksteady. Under that, we see all the characters available in the line. So, here he is, the Warthog mutant punk himself, Bebop. Out of the package, I have to say, I am pretty impressed with this guy. His head sculpt is highly detailed. From his painted nose ring and tusks, to his mohawk sunglasses and evil snarl, his look seems to be a perfect rendition of how he should look in a six inch classic style. He has turtle shell shoulder pads that are in two tones of green, a sleeveless red shirt with two non-removable grenades sculpted on. His torso is very buff with a skull and teeth necklace draped over his black bandolier with silver bullets painted on the bandolier. The lower portion of Bebop is clothed in blue jeans with a silver painted chain for a belt. He is wearing red shoes that resemble Converse Chuck Taylor basketball shoes. Now let's take a look at his articulation. He has very poor head movement, shoulder, bicep, double jointed elbows, wrist cut and wrist swivel. Poor ab crunch with the lack of waist movement. Hips. Double jointed knees and boot cut articulation. He comes with two accessories. First off is his drill gun. This is one cool accessory. Sadly though, it is made from a solid gray plastic that has no paint apps. It is still very cool, but it feels like they cheaped out a bit on this one. His second accessory is his figure stand. It is shaped like a manhole cover with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo sculpted onto it. Under the logo, his name is printed on. You just plug his feet into the stand and he is ready for display. So, overall, how do I feel about Bebop here? Well, other than his really poor head and torso articulation, and the lack of paint apps on his gun, I think he turned out really great. I think it's just awesome to finally get some more characters in this line, and I can't wait to see what next year might have to offer. So that was it for my review. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. Follow me on Twitter at IHaveThePower82. Check out all the links and sponsors below in the show notes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.